I see we're loaded into cage three. We've got Omnivore versus Candy Striker. This is a match that I have been uh, really looking forward to. We've got Ryan Klingman here in Omnivore. Uh, he had previously built uh, Portable Apocalypse. He um, builds the Jolts kit, which is very popular here at Norwalk Havoc. Facing off against Rachel de Guzman here. Eight, um, seven, and, uh, six, and Candy Strike. Five, four. I three, love the design two, on Candy Strike. What a cool fight. Guy. Robots oh, fight. Good speed right out of the box. Oh, wow. Omnivore. Exactly what we expected from Omnivore. Just big box rush at the beginning. Massive hit right off the bat. Get Candy Striker off balance, off center. Start oh. this match solely in your favor. Nice work there. Ah, roofing Candy Striker twice there. Let's see if Rachel here can, uh, can rack up some damage points, but uh, the weapon on Omnivore is running great. Yeah, very high speed, very high power weapon. Candy Striker finds itself on its head. Oh no, now they're both on their head. Ryan Klingman trying to uh, violently self-right by crashing himself into the side of the box. He doesn't want to uh, use that save so early in this match. He's getting so much engagement with that weapon, just giant throws across the arena. Rachel's husband, Remy de Guzman, successfully getting under Omnivore and uh, preventing him from going full send on Candy Striker. Remy de Guzman knows his way around a control box. He uh, typically runs Wicked Wedge here at Norwalk Havoc. Everyone's favorite giraffe-themed wedge bot? Yes, exactly. It's my number one giraffe-themed wedge bot, Kyle. <laughs> Successfully getting under uh, Omnivore. This is a good pin this here. This is a great pin. They can hold this pin for 10 seconds before the judge has to break this up. All right, they are telling uh, Rachel to back off. Oh, and I see a bolt. Oh, that bolt doesn't look good, Kyle. Yeah, that probably goes to something important, I'd imagine. Yes. Oh, another good pin! Oh, there oh. we go! perhaps go to that wheel that's completely and totally off kilter in the back of Omnivore there. You see that? Candy Striker chewing away at the wheels of Omnivore. Wow. Candy Striker making a nice comeback in the latter oh, half of this fight. Oh, another good hit landing right on top of the mini bot of Candy Striker. Once again, proving never give up in these fights. You never know how things are going to change, how things are going to shift, how things are going to turn around. Omnivore is now not looking happy, stuck in that corner or stuck in that side of the box there. It really needs its back wheels to drive when it's inverted, and those back wheels are very impaired. Oh, no! That Candy could be Striker. an error from Candy Striker. Yeah, per uh, perhaps uh, made a bit of an error, flipping them back over onto their right side. Omnivore is almost at full mobility now. Rachel successfully getting off of the rail. But that robot looks dead-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Seven seconds left here. We've come down to the three minutes. Wow, we are making the judges work for it today. This has been a beautiful back and forth, ma uh, forth match. Turn off your weapons, head to the door. This one goes to the judges. Wow, okay. Wow, yeah, round of applause Ooh. for that. That was a great fight. Oh, this was a great That little fight. comeback in the middle play. from Candy Striker was just riveting. I loved it. Yeah, Omnivore is a beast. It it's looks truly like a, a beast. It looks like a kind of corporate product, just a corporate killing machine. Yeah, absolutely. Candy Striker, very like, very homegrown builds. You gotta love that. Very artistic build. I love the paint pattern on it. I think it's great. Now, the coordination between the Deguzmans in the latter half of this yeah, match Yeah, this right here, here, so smart. Incredible. Chewing away at those wheels, landing good pins. We're going to see here with the judges if they racked up enough points for it to matter. All right, so we're going to go to a judge's decision. Let's start here with Joe Dorfler. Your thoughts on this fight? Yeah, this uh, this was a really good match. Uh, both robots were coming out of the gate swinging, uh, with Omnivore winning most of the weapon to weapon matches. But and then you know midway through the match, Omnivore kind of just like you know lost its wheel, got flipped upside down, and then Candy Striker was gaining a lot of control points. But you, you know Omnivore got flipped back over, and he just kept going at it. And Candy Crusher kind of seemed just like stay in the corner a little bit for like ten seconds, maybe. Um,
this was a really close match, but I've got to give it to Omnivore. Okay, we have one vote for Omnivore. Dominic, cast your vote. <laughs> well, it was a great match, honestly. So back and forth, and this shows where uh, durability kind of shines through, in my opinion. And it, I, I didn't want to be a judge for this one, but I went with Candy Striker. Okay, wow. we've got one for Omnivore, oh. one for Candy Striker. Don Dorfler, cast your vote. Who's the winner here? Yeah, <laughs> so I gotta give uh, Candy props for the mini bot. It was getting some control points when it was up down, but um, with Omnivore, uh, like if he stayed upside down, that would have been their moment. But once they got flipped back, they were just they just had more control and aggression. Way well, I had control split. Uh, Omnivore, I gave more aggression and uh, then slightly more damage points. Okay. So, going Omni. We have a close judge's decision for <laughs> Omnivore. Wow. All right. First Fantastic split decision match. of the day. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. That was a great fight. Those were two really good bots. Two bots to watch, for sure. Yeah. Okay. 